Hey guys, it's Oogs. Welcome to the channel and thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, share, comment. It doesn't take you a lot of money. It just takes you one second of your life. Thank you so much and welcome to the family. Much, much appreciate it. Now, in this video, we're going to talk about player ratings overall player ratings for the season 2021 2022 it's not about one game it's not about few performances it's about the whole thing the whole season so i'm gonna see how far i go with this video i might make part one part two part three because people don't watch long videos we are living in the tiktok generation where 15 seconds is more than enough for people to get bored and move to another account quickly on social media so let's see how it goes but it's almost impossible for me to summarize the entire season in five minutes you know what i mean i want to take my time so let's see what's gonna happen the season was okay in the Chelsea standard some people will say it was good some people will say it was very successful that is your opinion to the Chelsea standard and given how we missed out on certain cups just by 10 minutes for example or just by penalty shootout I'm telling you that it's, it's just okay for me because we are Chelsea Football Club. We're supposed to be beating those teams and winning those trophies. But completely understand if you think this season was excellent. But given also circumstances that we had, man, we we have just to, to be grateful that we won two trophies, the Club World Cup and also the Super Cup. So I would take it all day long. Anyways, let me just remind you what happened during this season. We had some games on preseason. Bournemouth against Chelsea Football Club, we beat them 2-1. We beat Arsenal also in preseason 2-1. We drew with Tottenham Hotspurs preseason 2-2. And then we went to the Super Cup. UEFA Super Cup. We drew. It was 1-1. And then we won on penalties. Kepa Arisa Baraga was the hero that day. And then the first the, the first day of the Premier League season, we won 3-0 against Crystal Palace at the bridge. Remember that goal from Trevor Chaloba? And then we went away to win against Arsenal at the Emirate 2-0. We drew against Liverpool 1-1. Thank you, Anthony Taylor, for a dodgy penalty and red card to Rhys James. And then we beat Aston Villa at home 3-0. Champions League group stages. We were in the group H. First game, we beat Zenit 1-0. And then we came back to play the Premier League. We beat Tottenham Hotspurs away 3-0. And Romelu Lukaku was handful that day. Everybody don't want to remember that. Carabao Cup, round three. We, we drew at home 1-1 against Aston Villa and we won on penalties. Again, thank you, Mr. Kepa Arisa Balaga. I know why I'm saying thank you, Arisa Balaga, or thank you, uh, let's say, Romelu Lukaku because people forget very quickly. It's always about the last results or 
when they didn't save a penalty or when they said something. So you're going to see the reasons why I am saying I am emphasizing on certain names. It's going to make sense at the end. Premier League, Chelsea 0, Manchester City 1. De Bruyne again came back to the bridge to punish Chelsea Football Club. A so-called reject. Okay, when he was 21 years old at Chelsea Football Club, imagine if social media was this big. All the experts were going to say he's not Chelsea level, get rid of him. Look at him today. Champions League, Juventus 1, Chelsea 0. The last minute we lost in Turin. And then we came back to the Premier League. We beat Southampton at home 3 1. Another game in the Premier League. Brentford 0, Chelsea 1 away. In that game, Malang Sa had a masterclass and Edouard Mendy was out of this world. I know why I'm saying this because there are experts that will tell you Edouard Mendy was crap and Malang Sa is not Chelsea level. But after this game, his very first game with Chelsea, and it was a masterclass. We had a crisis in the defense. Remember that? Champions League. Chelsea 4, Malmo 0. Nothing to do to say about it. We, we won convincingly at home. Premier League. Chelsea 7, Norwich City 0. Manson Mount with a hat trick. And people went crazy. Oh, it's only Norwich. If he doesn't score against Norwich, oh, you can't even score against Norwich. Just telling you that if you have an agenda, you're going to always find the negative thing to say about certain players. Carabao Cup. Chelsea won, Southampton won. Again, we won on penalty. 4-3, Chelsea Football Club. Premier League, Newcastle 0 Chelsea 3 away. Rhys James with a double. And the third goal was from Jorginho Frelo on the penalty. And I was so angry that Jorginho couldn't really show the leadership and give the ball to Rhys James so he can have a hat trick. Champions League. Malmo 0, Chelsea 1. Remember that? Away. And then we came back to the Premier League. Chelsea won. Burnley won. This is how we started collapsing, dropping two points at home. Premier League, Leicester City, zero Chelsea, three. We went away actually to win. And then we completely destroyed Juventus in the Champions League at home, 4-0. Premier League. Chelsea 1, Manchester United 1. Jadon Sancho with a goal. And we, we had to depend on a penalty from Jorginho Frelo to, to, get any, uh, uh, to, to get a goal, to get a draw. So, And as you can tell, it was like up and downs, up and downs. We're winning by one point, one goal difference. The last minute, it was complicated. Premier League, what for one? Chelsea 2. Premier League again, West Ham 3, Chelsea 2. We got completely destroyed at London Stadium by West Ham. And then we went to Zenit. This game that we had to win in order to finish top of, top of the, uh, the, the group in order to get an easier draw. <laughs> but we went there the last minute. We drew 3-3. Three, three. Abramovich was in the stand watching the calamity. Chelsea 3, Leeds United 2. That was at home in the Premier League. And then we drew at home against Everton of Rafa Benitez. They were losing games like 5 3 zeros here and then they came to the bridge and got three points away from Chelsea Football Club. Another game in the Premier League, Wolves 0, Chelsea zero again dropped two point nobody is scoring and a lot of issues at chelsea football club carabao cup Brentford zero 
Chelsea 2. Nothing to say about that. Premier League again. Aston Villa 1, Chelsea 3. This is where the Lukaku issue started. Lukaku scored a couple goals in this game and he gave an interview to say the manager decided to change the system. He knows his reasons and he denied even being injured. Like he was injured for a little while and then he didn't play and then Thomas Tuchel said, no, we don't want to take risk and all that. And Lukaku came out to say, oh, I'm, I'm okay. He just does want to play me, literally. Again, we drew a game at home. Chelsea won, Brighton won. Always the last minute. <laughs> Look at how many points we dropped at home. <laughs> Premier League before the African Cup of Nations. Chelsea 2 Liverpool 2 at the bridge. Very lucky to get a draw because we were losing 2-0 down. Remember the goal, that uh, volley from uh, Kovacic. And in this game, Sadio Mane shouldn't even finish that game. Thank you, VAR and referees in the Premier League. Carabao Cup semi-finals. First leg, Chelsea 2, Tottenham Hotspurs 0. FA Cup round 3, Chelsea 5, Chesterfield 1. The only game that Bettinelli played and he conceded a goal. And I was so happy that we conceded that goal because I wanted to see uh, Chesterfield fans that really came a lot at the bridge. I wanted to see them celebrate a little bit. Then, Carabao Cup semi final, second leg. We went away to beat Tottenham Hotspurs 1 0. Premier League again. We went away and lost 1 0 against Man City. Premier League, Brighton 1, Chelsea 1. Also, the last minute. We dropped two stupid points. Another game in the Premier League. Chelsea 2, Tottenham 0. FA Cup, round 4. Chelsea 2, Ple uh, Plymouth 1. And then we went to the World Cup. Everything was good here. We didn't know that our boss, Roman Abramovich, was going to be sanctioned and Russia was going to start the war in Ukraine. 1-0 against Al-Hilal. 2-1 against Palmeiras. And we won the World Cup thanks to that penalty from Kai Havert and Romelu Lukaku also scored during that game. We came back home. Premier League, we went to win away. Very, very lucky. I think Hakim Ziyech with the winner, 1-0 at the end. And we went to the Champions League round of 16, first leg, 2-0 at home against Lille. Carabao Cup final, we actually drew against Liverpool and we won. We, we didn't win. We lost on penalties. 10 against 11. Kepa Arisabalaga missed his penalty and he didn't save any penalty. So he won us one cup, which is the Super Cup, UEFA Super Cup, and he lost another shootout against Liverpool in the Carabao Cup final. You see, I'm trying to find a little bit of balance here so we don't just get on Kepa Arisa Balaga just because of the Liverpool game. And then we went uh, to the FA Cup round of 15. We beat Luton Town 3-2. Three, three, it was a very difficult game for Chelsea Football Club. We went away and beat Burnley actually 4-0 away. It was surprising. Norwich City won Chelsea 3. We, we, we won away. Premier League one more time. Chelsea won, Newcastle 0. The last minute, what a goal from Mr. Kai Havert. And we were lucky because 
I think Chaloba gave away a penalty. We were lucky that day that the VAR and the referee kind of helped us because if it was against us, I was going to get very mad. Champions League, round of 16, second leg. Chelsea 2, Lille 1. I think we already started a lot of issues here. The ban, the Abramovich, the war in Ukraine, all the stuff. And then we we had even hard time to find a, a nail plan to take us to Lille and all that. FA Cup quarter final, middle middle brew, zero Chelsea two. This game where everybody was supporting uh, Middlesbrough because Chelsea apparently started the war in Ukraine, and we went there away and won against odds to qualify for the final. Premier League, Chelsea won, Brentford four. They came to the bridge and completely destroyed us. Champions League, Chelsea won, Real Madrid three at the bridge. A calamity of mistakes from Edouard Mendy to the defense to Thiago Silva. It was a catastrophe. And then we went away and won against Southampton 6-0 convincingly and then champions league quarter final second leg we we won actually away at bernabeu 3-2 and we were leading 3-0 10 minutes to go and you don't tell the truth because you have an agenda against the manager jose Mourinho would have put john obi Mikel to close the door instead of putting christian Pulisic and hakim ziyech Aha! Masterclass. FA Cup semi-final. Chelsea 2, Crystal Palace 0. It was at Wembley. Convincingly, we won that game. Premier League. Chelsea 2, Arsenal 4 at the bridge. I don't want to even go back to that game because it hurt until now. And the manager came out to say that uh, Stamford Bridge ground was bouncing and all kind of excuses premier league chelsea won west ham zero and we took some pride at the bridge we went away to manchester united after that in the premier league we drew 1-1 a game that we were leading as per usual it's a chelsea thing domination fc possession fc 85 percent possession and you end up by drawing and dropping two points <laughs> and then we went to everton and lost one nil against the struggling frank lampard side one nil richarlison and aspiliqueta apparently never made a mistake that led directly to a goal but he gave that ball away to richarlison to score Another game in the Premier League, Chelsea 2, Wolves 2 at the bridge. Same old, same old. <laughs> Sounds like a broken record. And then we went away to win against Leeds United 3-0. Thank you to a red card that uh, Dan James took early on. So we, we, we just needed somebody to get the red card in order for us to, to score three goals. FA Cup final, we lost again against Liverpool on penalties 5-6. A lot of uh, crossbar challenges, a lot of misses, a lot of clear chances misses. Premier League, Chelsea won, Leicester City won again, dropped two points at the bridge. And the last game of the season, we won 2-1 against Watford. Thank you, Ross, the boss Barkley, because he saved us from another draw, another same old, same old uh, broken record at the bridge. The last minute, Ross, the boss Barkley. And that was the day that we were saying, welcome to Mr. Boelli. He was in the stadium, the first game actually for him to win since 
you know, he he was trying back then. He wasn't the owner yet, but every time that that brother was in the stadium, we somehow dropped point. Listen, I don't want to make this video two hours. I know many people are not going to watch a long video. So I'm going to make part two to talk about uh about what happened the player ratings overall player ratings so stay tuned and i'll see you in the next one